So now we'll be talking about the frontal lobe, the dissemination and the defect in the coordination, orientation, judgment and may the emerge of primitive reflex, so frontal eye field, so destruction lesion, MCA, eye loops towards brain lesion or away from side of hemiplegia. So paramedian ponta and reticular formation, eye loops away from brain lesion towards side of hemiplegia. In medial longitudinal fasciculus, we have internuclear ophthalmoplasia, impaired ad adduction of ipsilateral eye and nystagmus of contralateral eye seen in multiple sclerosis, dominant parietal lobe, agraphia or calculia, finger agnosia, left right disorientation, chest man syndrome, we have non dominant parietal cortex, anosmia of the contralateral side of the wall, hemis spatial neglect syndrome, hippocampus bilateral and retrograde amnesia, inability to make new memories, we have the basal ganglia may result in the tremor at rest, chorea atherosis seen in the Parkinsonism, Huntington's and the Wilson's disease. We have subthalamic nucleus, contralateral hemispherism, mammary bodies. So we have confusion, ataxia, nystagmus, ophthalmoplasia, memory loss, anterograde and retrograde amnesia, confabulation, personality change. So vernic problems come in canobial and other conditions as with that hemi deficiency. We have amygdala, bilateral, that is Kluver Bocchi syndrome. Uh, disseminated behavior, hyperphagia, hypersexuality, and hypervirality. So that is HSB1 encephalitis. We have dorsal midbrain, also known as paranoid syndrome, vertical gaze palsy, pupillary light near dissociation, lead retraction, convergence and retraction stigmas. We have stroke, hydrocephalus, and pineuroma. We have reticular activating system, which is reduced level of arousal and wakefulness, seen in the coma. We have the cerebral hemisphere, the intention tremor, limb ataxia, loss of balance, Damage to cerebellum, ipsilateral deficit, also towards the side of lesion. So next is the cerebral hemisphere or laterally, located effect lateral limb. We have the cerebellar burnish, the shrunken ataxia, white base gate, drunken cellular gate, nystagmus. Burnish is centrally located, effect central body, degeneration asteroid, the chronic alcohol use. Next we have the red nucleus, which is the midbrain. So we have decorticate, flexure posturing lesion, or red nucleus, presents with the flexure of upper extremity and extension of lower extremity. Next we have the decerebrate, that is posturing lesion at or below the red nucleus present with the extension of upper and lower limb. Permacy is centered located, affects the central body, degeneration with the chronic alcohol use. Worst prognosis with the decerebrating posture. In decorticate posture, your hands are near the core means heart. So in ischemic brain disease, strong irreversible neural injury begins at 4 to 5 minutes of hypoxia, most vulnerable hippocampus, neobotics, cerebellum, organ cells, water cell areas, vulnerable hippocampus. Need pure water, stroking image non contrast CT to exclude the hemorrhage before TPA can be given. CT detect ischemic change in 6 to 24 hours. Diffuse weighted MRI can detect ischemia within 3 to 30 minutes. So, next we have the eosinophilic cytoplasmic plus pignotic nuclei, red nucleus in 12 to 24 hours. 24 to 72 hours we have the necrosis plus neutrophils. In 3 to 5 days we have the macrophage microglia, 1 to 2 week reactive glyasis and astrocytes plus vascular proliferation. Then two weeks we have the glial scar. So ischemic stroke we have, uh, that is the uh, acute blockages of the vessels, infection, three types, thrombotic, okay. Uh, so could be embolic, okay. So thrombotic is due to clot uh, directly at the site of it, uh, infarction, commonly the MC, usually over a ruptured atherosclerotic clot. Okay, next we have the emboli, emboli form of dark, uh, another uh, part of the So the next is uh, we are having uh, emboli, embolus from another part of the body obstructs vessels can affect multiple vascular territories, example atrial fibrillation, carotid artery stenosis, DVT with patent for an overwhelm, paradoxical emboli and infective endocrine. We can have hypoxia from the hypoxia, hypox perfusion or hypoxemia, common during cardiovascular surgeries, tends towards the watershed areas. Treatment is TPA, live within 3 to 4.5 hours of onset, no hemorrhage, risk of hemorrhage and or thrombectomy if large artery of lesion, with the medical treatments like aspirin, clopidogrel, optimum blood control of the blood pressure, blood sugar, lipids, smoking sedation, treatment condition like increased risk, atrial fibrillation, and carotid artery stenosis. So transient ischemic attack is simply the brief reversible episodes of the focal neurological dysfunction with acute infarction, negative MRI with the majority resolving less than 15 minutes ischemia. Embolus, small vessel stenosis may present with the amaurosis fugus, transient um, visual loss due to retinal artery emboli from carotid artery. So, 
the next we have the so now we'll be talking about the transient ischemic attack that is a brief reversal episode of a focal neurological dysfunction without an acute infection and negative RMA with the majority resolving less than 15 minutes ischemia bolus small vessel stenosis may present with MRS focus transient vision loss due to retinal artery emboli from fatty artery disease so next is the neonatal uh, intraventricular hemorrhage the bleeding into the ventricles shows blood in the intraventricular space on ultrasound okay increased risk in premature and low birth weight infants alternate in the germinal matrix a highly vascular glial within the uh, sub ventricular zone due to the reduced glial fiber support an impaired auto regulation of the BP in premature infants can present with the altered level of consciousness, bowel incontinence, hypertension, seizure, and coma. So, next is the epidural hematoma. So, rupture of the uh, middle meningeal artery, a branch of maxillary artery, often secondary skull fracture, mm -hmm. thinnest area of the lateral skull, highest might present with the transient loss of consciousness, recovery, lucid interval, and rapid deterioration due to hematoma expansion. So, we have scalp hematoma and rapid interaction cranial expansion and order systemic um, artery pressure, transtorial herniation, uh, cranial of three palsy, CD shows by conveyor lentiform hyperdense blood collected not crossing the um, suture line. Next is subdural hematoma, rupture of the bridging vein can be acute high um, end impact, hyperdense on CT or chronic issue with the mild trauma, cerebral atrophy, elderly, chronic alcohol abuse, hyperdense on CT. Uh, also uh, seen in the second baby syndrome, predisposed factors, brain atrophy and trauma. Crescent shape hemorrhage will cross the suture line can uh, cause midline shift findings of acute and chronic hemorrhage. So bleeding due to the trauma or rupture of the aneurysm. Sector and subarachnoid hemorrhage is bleeding due to trauma or rupture of the sector aneurysm or AB malformation. Rapid post wash headache and vasospasm occurs. Uh, so blood or, uh, or allogenthochromic lumbar puncture. Vasospasm can occur due to the blood breakdown or rebleed 3 to 10 days after hemorrhage and ischemic infarcts nigmatipine used to prevent and reduce vasospasm increased risk of developing communication or obstruction hydrocephalus so intraparenchymal hemorrhage most common caused by the systemic hypertension also seen with amyloid angiopathy recurrent lobar hemorrhage stroke in elderly vascular mass formation vasculitis neoplasm may present to secondary to reperfusion injury and ischemic stroke hypertension hemorrhage sarcoid bolstered microorganism most often Occurs in putamen of basal ganglia, lentiquestrue vessels, followed by thalamus, pons, and cerebellum. So, next is the anterior cerebral artery. So, that is the motor uh, effect of a stroke could be anterior cerebral artery, motor and sensory cortex, lower limb, contractor paralysis, and uh, sensory loss, lower limb and urinary continence, middle cerebral artery, motor and sensory cortex, upper limb and face, temporal lobe vernic area, and frontal lobe brocas area. And so control act paralysis and sensory loss, face and upper limb, aphasia if dominant, usually left hemisphere, hemilignate if lesion affects non-dominant, usually right hemisphere, vernic aphasia is with the right uh, superior quadrant, visual field defect due to the temporal lobe involvement. So lentical stroke is the stray into capsule, no control actor paralysis, absence of cortical signs like uh, uh, neglect, aphasia and visual field loss, pure motor stroke, often in common location of lacuna in fact due to the microanthropy and high highland atherosclerosis lipohyalinesis secondary to unmanaged hypertension so um, posterior cerebral artery this is occipital lobe contralateral hemipnea with macular sparing alexia without agraphia dominant hemisphere extending to splenium or corpus callosum uh, prosperginosia non-dominant hemisphere uh, basilar artery with response medulla and lower midbrain corticospinal and corticovalvular tract ocular and lobe nuclei, paramedian, pontine, reticular formation. So, basilar artery, if rash is spared, consciousness is preserved, quadriplasia, loss of the voluntary facial, mouth, and tongue movements, loss of the horizontal but not vertical eye movement. So, logged in syndrome, logged in the basement membrane. So, we have the next is anterior inferior cerebral artery. So, it includes the nucleus of facial nucleus, which causes the paralysis of the face, upper motor neuron lesion, upper and cortical stroke, decreased leg vision, decreased salivation, decreased taste from anterior to third. Okay, vestibular nuclei cause vomiting, but tiger and nystagmus, spinothalamic tract and spinal trigeminal decrease pain and temperature sensation over the contralateral body and ipsilateral face. We have the sympathetic fibers which causes ipsilateral hornless syndrome, mid and inferior cerebral pedangles cause ipsilateral ataxia and dysmetria. So then we have the labyrinthine artery, ipsilateral and sensory neural deafness and vertigo. So enter, uh, inferior cerebral artery cause lateral frontal syndrome, facial nucleus affects as to EIC. 
Next is the posterior inferior cerebral artery. Uh, so it includes the nucleus ambiguous in nerve 9, 10, and 11. We have the dysphagia, hoarseness, decrease gag reflex, and hip cups. Vestibular nuclei, we have the vomiting, but I and the stagmus. Uh, okay, uh, we have the lateral spine thalamic tract and spi spinal trisimal nucleus. Decrease the pain and temperature sensation from the contralateral and ipsilateral face. We have the sympathetic fibrous ipsilateral horn syndrome and inferior cerebral peduncles, ipsilateral ataxia and dysmetria. So in posterior inferior cerebral artery, spica, we have lateral medullary, also known as Wallenberg syndrome, nucleus and disease effects are specific to pica region. So next we have the anterior spinal artery, cortical spinal tract, contralateral paralysis, upper and lower limb. We have medial medullary syndrome with ASC. Okay, so medial medullary syndrome caused by infarct of paramedial mm, branch of ASC and or vertebral arteries. We have uh, median limb discus with degrees per perception uh, contralaterally, corda, Mm, medulla hypoglossal nerve decrease contractor process and ipsilateral hypoglossia dysfunction from the weights is laterally we have central mm, post stroke pain syndrome that is neuropathic pain due to thalamic lesion initially parasympathetic already weeks two months by allodynia ordinary pain that is stream like cause pain this mm, thesthesia altered sensation of the contralateral side we have diffuse axonal injury mm, so that is traumatic shear of the white matter tract Okay, rapid acceleration decision of the brain, motor vehicle accident, usually present in devastating neurological injuries, often caused by coma or persistent vegetative state, MRI shows multiple lesions, onset hemorrhage involving white matter. So next we have aphasia, aphasia higher order language deficit, in order to understand the product, and language appropriate caused by pathology in dominant cerebral hemisphere, usually left. Now dysarthia, motor inability to produce speech. Okay, next we have the broca area, so broca area is in the inventor frontal gyrus of the frontal lobe. As with the defective language production, patients have their first shared insight intact. So, Wernick, uh, is Wernicke area is the superior temporal gyrus of the temporal. As with the impaired language comprehension, patients do not have insight. Okay, conduction is can be caused by damage to, uh, to the arcuate fasciculus. Global is global and Wernicke areas are affected. So, aneurysm uh, is uh, abnormal direction of the artery due to weakening of the vessels are associated uh, with the secular aneurysm. Okay. That is also called berry aneurysm. August at the bifurcation in the circular release, most common site in the junction of intercommunicating and anterior cerebral artery, as with the atypically elder dianus, or the risk factors with advanced case, hypertension, tobacco smoking. Uh, usually clinical silent until uh, rupture, most common complications, subarachnoid hemorrhage, was headache, apnoid, or thromboda ramp headache, often focal neurological deficit, can cause symptoms by directly competition of the surrounding structure by growing aneurysm. Uh, ACA compression by temporal hemorrhage, compression of the optic chiasma, visual acuity defect, rupture ischemia in ACA, distribution, contralateral, lower extremity hemiparesis, and sensory loss. MCA rupture ischemia in the um, MCA distribution, contralateral upper extremity and lower facial hemiparesis and sensory deficit. For PCA in the uh, ipsilateral third nerve palsy, hydroacid, because ptosis down out eye, and charcoal pulsate microaneurysm, common associated with the chronic hypertension in small vessels. Lentigo stroid on the basal ganglia, thalamus, and can cause hemorrhage, intraparent chymal stroke, not visible and angiography. So the fever is a cytokine activation during inflammation and infection, usually less than 40 degrees C. Febrile season, estimate for ibuprofen with stroke in average of about to disseminate heat and exertion, usually greater than 40 degrees Celsius, CNS dysfunction, confusion, and organ damage, acute respiratory distress syndrome, rhabdomyolysis, rapid external cooling, dehydration, electron correction. Okay, so we have the seizure characterized by synchronized high frequency internal firing. So, partial seizure is affect single area of the brain, most commonly originate in the medial temporal lobe. Simple partial is conscious intact, motor sensory autonomic psychic. Complex partial is impaired conscious automatism. So, epilepsy we have the disorder of the recurrent unproved seizure. Febrile seizure is, are not epilepsy. Status epilepticus continuous greater than 5 minutes or recurrent seizure that may result in brain injury. So, post seizures by age are children, genetic and infection, trauma, congenital traumatic, metabolic, adults with trauma, tumor, stroke and infection, elderly with stroke, tumor, trauma, metabolic infection. So, uh, the diffuse type means absence seizure is like petit mal, three hours uh, uh, spike and wave discharge. Um, okay, usually 10 seconds and frequent episodes of blank stare, no post quartal post ictal confusion triggered by hyperventilation, myoclonic weak and repeated observes, tonic-clonic grand mal, alternative stiffening and movements, post ictal confusion, urinary incontinence and tongue biting is the tonic-clonic seizure, tonic mass stiffening or tonic mass, um, drop, um, drop seizure, fall 
in the floor commonly mistaken for fainting okay so epilepsy is disorder recurrent on foot seizure febrile seizures are not epilepsy start is less continuous given five minutes of recurrent seizure that may result in brain injury okay so the cause of seizures by age equals to child genetic infection trauma on the natal and metabolic adult tumor trauma stroke infection elderly the cause is uh, epilepsy is stroke tumor uh, trauma metabolic infections so headache is pain due to irritation of the structures other than the dura cranial lumbar the cranial structures primary headaches includes the cluster migraine tension uh, migraine and tension headaches are more common in females secondary headaches include severe pain hemorrhage meningitis hydrocephalus neoplasm giant cell tumor arthritis so cluster headaches are unilateral 15 minutes to 3 hours repetitive excruciating periorbital pain suicidal headache with autonomic symptom lacrimation rhinorrhea conjunctival ingestion may present with the horner syndrome more common in males so acute sumitriptan 100% OT prophylaxis is better coming in case of cluster headache sumitriptan 100% um, O2 prophylaxis is better coming so migraine has a unit later 4 to 7 hours pulsating pain with nausea photophobia phonophobia may have aura due to irritation of pain of 7 or meninges or blood vessels so release of vasoactive neurotic substance p calcitonin related peptide so acute we have the treatment for migraine is nst streptan by uh, hydroergotamine antiemetics procromazine nitrocopamide um, prophylaxis lifestyle changes sleep exercise my diet beta blockers amitriptyline topiramide valproate botulinum toxin anti cgrp monoclonal antibodies so pound pulsatile one day duration unilateral nausea and disabling so tension headaches are bilateral greater than 30 minutes typically 4 to 6 hours constant steady in band like pain, uh, pain. no photophobia phonophobia no aura Acute analgesic anesthesia and acetaminophen, prophylaxis, TCA, amitriptyline, behavior therapy. So compared with the trisomeral neurasia, which produces repeated unilateral suit-like pain in the distribution of the fifth nerve, triggered by chewing, talking, touching certain parts of the face, lasts for seconds to minutes, but episodes often increases in intensity and frequency over time. First therapy is cardiomyopathy. Now we'll be talking about. Uh, the some of the um, movement disorder akathisia is restlessness and interest or stomach so can be seen with the neuroleptic use of the side effects of parkinson's treatment astraxis is uh, extension of the wrist causes flapping motion as with the hematic neuropathy wilson's disease or the metabolic derangement athetosis means intraocular intense basal ganglia involved slow snake like dwindling movement especially seen in the finger podia is sudden jerky purposeless movement basal ganglia so seen in heart intense and acute uh, rheumatic fever syndrome in korea we have dystonia that is sustained involuntary muscle contraction writer's cramp brief or spasm torticolitis treatment botulism toxin injection essential tumor with a high frequency tremor with sustained posture outstretched arms worsen with the movement or when anxious often family patients often self medicate with alcohol when decreased tremor amplitude uh, treatment is non selective beta blocker propanolol barbiturates and primidone so we have intensive tremor that is slow zigzag motion when pointing extending towards a target cerebral dysfunction we have a resting tremor on control movement of the distal appendages most noticeable in the hand tremor elevates by intention movement absentia nigra occurs at rest tremor of parkinsonism so hemibalismism sudden wind uh, failing one of the side of the body contralateral subthalamic nucleus okay we have myoclonus sudden brief uncontrolled muscle contraction so hip cause common in the metabolic abnormality renal and liver failure twitch of jacob disease okay uh, so restless leg syndrome is on comfortable sensation in the leg causing ir irritable pulse to move relieved by the movement words at rest and at night as well with the iron deficiency and cgd treatment is dopamine agonist like primary flexol and uh, ropi roll so the next we have the uh, neurodegenerative diseases okay so next is neurodegenerative disorder decrease uh, cognitive ability memory or function with intact consciousness most of our depression as a cause of dementia called pseudo dementia or the irreversible cause of dementia includes reversal cause of dementia includes hypothyroidism vitamin b12 deficiency neurosyphilis and non rosacrucis hydrocephalus so in parkinsonism we have traps that is tremor rigidity agathia akinesia that is bradykinesia postural instability softening gait small uh, handwriting micro 
graph here okay so you may change usually late finding mp tp or uh, contaminated and illegal drug is metabolized to mpp which is toxic to substantia nigra loss of dopaminergic neuron depigmentation of substantial nigra pass compactor due to bodies composed of the alpha cyanonuclein intracellular eosinophilic inclusions next we have the hotington's disease that is autosomal dominant trinucleotide cag repeat expansion in the hotington's std gene on the chromosome 4 uh, symptoms manifest is between 20 and 50 chorea athetosis aggression depression dementia sometimes initial mistaken for substance use this will uh, results from expansion of cag uh, coded to ACH and GABA, okay, atrophy of the coded and glutamine with X regulatory, increased dopamine, decreased GABA, decreased ACH in the brain, neurons death by NMDA binding and glutamate exotoxicity. We have Alzheimer's disease, which is the most common cause of dementia in elderly, Down syndrome patients have increased risk of developing early onset, Alzheimer's disease as APP is location on 21 chromosome, decreased ACH as with the following altered protein, AE. APOE2 increase risk of sporadic form, APOE4 increase risk of sporadic form, APP, penicillin, uh, presenilin 1, presenilin 2, familial form with early onset Alzheimer's, widespread cortical atrophy in Alzheimer's, uh, cortex in Alzheimer's disease, especially hippocampus, narrowing of chyta and widening of sulfine. So there is cyanide plaque in the gray matter, extracellular beta amyloid core may cause amyloid angiopathy, intracranial hemorrhage in, in beta amyloid B synthesis by cleaving the amyloid precursor protein APP. We have neurofibrillary triangles, intracellular hyperphosphorylated tau protein, insoluble cytoskeleton elements, number of correlates with the degree of dementia, whereas the Hirano body is intracellular eosinophilic proteinosis rod in hippocampus. So neurofibrillary triangles are intracellular hyperphosphorylated tau protein, insoluble cytoskeleton element, number of triangles, correlates with the degree of dementia. Whereas uh, the Hirano bodies are intercellular eosinophilic proteinaceous rod in hippocampus. Okay. And uh, cyanide plaques are in uh, extracellular amyloid core. Okay. May cause amyloid angiopathy, intracranial hemorrhage, A beta, cyanide by cleaving the amyloid precursor protein AP. So, frontotemporal dementia is a form called Pick's disease. Body change in the personality and behavior. Beaver variant for aphasia. Primary progressive aphasia may be associated with movement disorder. Frontotemporal lobe dew. Degeneration, inclusion of hyperphosphorylated tau proteins, big bodies, or ubiquitous TD5043. Next, we have the uh, Libby body dementia, visual hallucination, dementia with fluctuating cognitive alertness, REM sleep behavior disorder, and Parkinsonism, also called Libby body dementia, if cognitive and motor symptoms onset less than one year apart, otherwise considered dementia secondary to Parkinsonism. Intracellular Libby bodies, primary in, uh, in cortex. We have the vascular dementia, the results of the multiple art arterial infarcts and or chronic ischemia, stepwise decline in cognitive ability with late onset memory impairment, second most common cause of dementia in elderly, MRI and CT shows multiple cortical or subcortical infarct, we have chrysophyll Jacob disease, rapidly progressive, weak tumors, dementia with myoclonus, startle myoclonus and ataxia, as with the uh, periodic staff wave on EEG, increased protein 3-3. Protein CSF may be transmitted and by contaminated materials, corneal transplant neurosurgical equipment, spongiform cortex microlization without inflammation, prions, PRPC, converts to PRPS, C sheet, beta plated sheet, and resistance to proteases. So HIV acid dementia is the subcortical dysfunction issue with the advanced HIV infection, characterized by cognitive deficit, gait disturbance, irritability, and depressed mood, diffuse gray matter and subcortical atrophy, microglia nodule with multi Cells. So next we have the idiopathic intracranial hypertension, also called to the uh, pseudotumor sebra, increased ICP with no obvious finding on the image. This factor includes female sex, tetracycline, obesity, vitamin A excess, and danazo, as well with the intracranial venous sinus stenosis, finding headache, tinnitus, diplopia, usually from uh, VI palsy, no change in the metal status, impaired optic knob, um, exoplasma flow, papilledema, visual field testing shows. Enlarged blind spot and peripheral constriction, lumbar puncture reveals increased opening and pressure and provides temporary headache relief. So, weight loss, acetazolamide, invasive procedure for effective cause, CSF sound placement, and optic notch shift, fenestration surgery for visual loss. In hydrocephalus, we have increased CSF volume through ventricular dilatation plus minus ACP. Communicating hydrocephalus con is decreased ICP absorption by subacanide and aeroconide granulation, aeroconide scarring post meningitis. 
increase ICP and papillary edema and herniation, nonocephal hydrocephalus, it affects the urinary incontinence, gait apraxia, and cognitive dysfunctions. Affect elderly idiopathic CSA pressure elevate only episodically, doesn't result in increased subarachnoid space volume. Expansion of the ventricles distorts the fiber of coronary radiata. Yes, symptoms potentially reversible the CSF drainage by lumbar puncture or sun placement. Here are the non communicating obstructions, non communicating hydrocephalus caused by structural blocked up CSF circulation within the ventricular system, stenosis of the aqueduct of sylvius, colloid cyst blocking foramen of Monroe and tumors. And we have X regular ventricular megaly, appearance of increased CSF and imaging, but is actually due to the decreased brain tissue and neurological symptoms, Alzheimer's disease, advanced HIV, frontotemporal dyspepsia, Huntington's disease, ICP is normal, NHP and PS triad is not seen. Now we have the multiple sclerosis, autonomic inflammation and demyelination of the CNS, brain and spinal cord with subsequent axonal damage and presence with acute optic neuritis, painful unilateral vision loss as shown with the Marcus non pupil, uh, brain stem or cerebral syndromes, diplopia, dexia, scanning speech, intentional tremor, nystagmus, are you know, bilateral, uh, greater than unilateral, pneumonia tract demyelination, weak and spasticity, spinal cord syndrome like plectic shock like syndrome along with the cervical spine on the neck flexion, neurological bladder, para, um, parapesis, sensory deficit affecting the trunk of one or more extremities, symptoms may exhibit with the uh, increased body temperature, hot heart exercise, relapsing and remitting is most common clinical course, most often assured affects female in their 20s and 30s, more common in individuals who grew up further and from equator and low serum vitamin D level. So finding includes IgG level and myelin based protein now in CSF, oligonal bands are diagnostic, MRI is gold standard, periventricular plaques, area of oligodendrocytes, loss and reactive glyases, they have multiple white matter lesions disseminated in time is space. So stop relapsing and halting slow progression with disease modifying therapies like beta interferon, galtamir and natalizumab, treat acute failure with IV corticosteroid, Severe treatment for neurological bladder, catheterization, muscularic antagonist, especially with the baglofen and GABA B, neuroreceptor agonist, pain, TC, and anticonvulsants. So, uh, other are the osmotic um, demyelination syndrome, also called the pon central pontine myelinosis, massive axonal demyelination in the pontine white matter, secondary to rapid osmotic change, most commonly heterogenic correlation of the hyponatremia, but also rapid sheet of other osmolites, glucose, acute paralysis, dysarthria, dysphagia, diplopia, loss of the consciousness can cause locked in syndrome, correct serum, sodium too fast, from low to high, your pons will die, osmotic demyelination syndrome, from high to low, your pons will blow, cerebral edema and herniation. So, acute inflammatory demyelination polyneuropathy, most common subtype of Guinevara syndrome, autonomic condition, tries to this one cells um, by inflammation and demyelination of the motor fibers, sensory fibers, um, peripheral nerve, uh, 329, uh, by facilitated by molecular mimicry and triggers the inoculation of stress despite association with the infection. Cambarabacter is any virus like Zika or no definite causal link to any pathogen. Results in symmetrical ascending um, muscles weakness, paralysis and depressed absent DTR binding in lower extremity. Facial paralysis usually bilateral and respiratory failure are common. May uh, see uh, autonomic dysregulation, cardiac dis uh, irregularity, hypertension, hypotension or sensory abnormalities. Most um, patients survive with good uh, functional recovery. Increases the protein within the normal cell count or we know cytic dissociation. Okay, respiratory support is critical until recovery. This is modifying treatment and plasma exchange or IV immunoglobin, no role of steroid. So acute disseminated post-infection encephalitis is a multifocal inflammation and demyelination after infection or a vaccine. Okay. Present with rapidly progressive multifocal neurological symptoms and automated status. We have charcot Mary 2 disease, also known as the hereditary motor sensory neuropathy. Group of progressive hereditary nerve disorder related to the defect production of the protein involved in the structure and function of the peripheral nerve or the myelin sheet, typically autosomal dominant associated with the foot deformity, pex cavus, hamotomo, and lower extremity weakness, foot drop, and sensory deficit cannot pump toe. Most common subtype is CMTA1 is caused by PMP22 gene duplication. We have progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, demyelination of the CNS, destruction of oligodendrocytes, secondary to reactivation of the latent CJC virus, so with the severe immunosuppression, lymphomas and leukemias, gates, organ transplant, rapid progressive use of the fatal pedonics involves parietal and occipital lobe, visual disturbance are common, increase risk as with the natalizumab and increase uh, risk as with the natalizumab and uh, rituximab.
So other disorders include thyroid disease, metoprofen, lipodystrophy, and adrenoligodystrophy. Next, we have the uh, neurocutaneous disorders. So that is strip Weber syndrome, that is congenital non hereditary anomaly of the neural cross derivative, somatic mosaicism, and an activating mutation in one of the copy of Nixing. So there is capillary and vascular malformation, port Feinstein, nevus levels or non neoplastic birth pump in trend of V1 and V3 distribution, if lateral left to uh, meningeal angioma with calcification, seizure, epilepsy, intellectual disability, episcular hemangioma, increased IOP, and early onset glaucoma, also called encephalal uh, trisomal angiomas. And next is tubular histosis, AD, variable expression of mutation in tumor suppressor gene, TC, and TSC1 on chromosome 9 and TSC2 on chromosome 16, tuberin and pronounced tuberin, hematomas in CNS and skin angiofibromas, mitral regurgitation, has sleep sport, cardiac rhabdomyomas, intellectual disability, and renal angiomyelioma, seizures, cyclins, fats, autosomal dominant, increased incidence of sub ependymal giant cells, astro cytoma and ongonal fibroma. Next is neurofibrotis type 1 that is AD 100% penetration and a punch tumor 17 chromosome in course neurofibrin a negative RAS regulator. Okay. Uh, the neurofibrin 1 has a cafe LS port intellectual disability in uh, the cutaneous neurofibromas Lynch syndrome Lynch model pigmented iris hematomas optic gliomas few chromocytoma seizure focal neurological signs often from meningiomas bone lesions and spino, spinoid dysplasia also with the also called the bone directly house and disease okay so we have the neurofibromatis 2 that is autosomal dominant which is in the nf2 tumor suppression is known as modeling genome chromosome 22 we have bilateral vestibular swanomas juvenile cataract meningiomas and ependymomas and bone nipple induces deletion of bhl genome chromosome 3p Okay, mm -hmm. ubiquitous hypoxia, individual factor 1, hemangioblastoma, highly vascular with hyperchromatic nuclei, in retina and brain, stem, cerebellar spine, angiomatosis, bilateral renal carcinomas, and fluid chromocytomas. And we have the next is the uh, glioblastoma. Uh, gl uh, in adult brain tumors, we have the glioblastoma and grade 4 astrocytoma, common hist uh, histomalignant primary tumors with. Isn't found in the cerebral hemisphere can cross the corpus callosum, butterfly glamour as well with the EGFR amplification. Okay, so um, we have acute uh, origin GFAP positive pseudo palisading pleomorphic tumors, borderline center of necrosis, hemorrhage, and microvascular proliferation. So next is oligodendroglyomer, relative rare but slow growing, most often in frontal lobe, often calcified. Okay, oligodendrocytes, uh, fried egg, cell appearance, round nuclei, and clear cytoplasm, chicken wire. Uh, papillary pattern we have the meningioma commonly uh, typical uh, benign uh, okay female greater than male almost often occurs uh, near surface of the brain and in parasitical region extra axial external uh, to the brain parapha most often have a dual attachment often possibly may present with the seizure or focal neurological sign dissection or radio surgeries arachnoid cells origin spindle cells concentrically um, arranged in a whole pattern soma bodies so we have hemangioblastoma, most often uh, cerebellar, as with the von Hippolyndo, when found within the retinal angiomas, can produce erythropoietin, secondary polycythemia. Hemangioblastoma blood vessels closely arranged with thin wallet capillaries with minimal intervening parenchyma. So next we have the adult brain tumor continuation, periodic adenoma. Okay, so here may be non-functional, silent or hyperfunctional hormone producing, non-functional tumors present with the mass effect, bacterial hemianopia due to the pressure optic chiasma. Pitreal apoplexy means hypo, hyper or hypopitreterism. Prolactinoma classified presence as galactoria, amenorrhea, decreased bone density due to suppression of estrogen in female and decreased libido in fertility in male. So, hyperplasia of one or more of the endocrine cells found in the pituitary, most commonly from lactotrophs, prolactin, hypoprolactinoma, less common from somatotrophs, GS, okay. and um, less common from somatotrophs, G, growth hormone, acromegaly, gigantism, cortico. Drops STS causing disease rarely from thymotropes, TSS and gonadotropes, FSS and LH. We have the schwannoma classically at the cerebropontine angle, benign, involved cranial lobe 5, 7, uh, 5, 7, and 8, but can along be any peripheral lobe, often localized to cranial lobe 7 in uh, internal acoustic meatus. Vestibular schwannoma can present as a hearing loss and tinnitus. Bilateral vestibular schwannoma found in NF2, dissection or uh, stereotactic radiosurgery. 
Transverse cells origin S100, biphasic, dense, hypercellular areas containing spindle cells, alternating with the hypercellular mixoid areas. Now next we have the childhood uh, primary brain tumors, which is pilocytic astrocytoma, low-grade astrocytoma, com most commonly primary brain tumor in childhood, usually well circumscribed in children, most often may be found in posterior fossa, cerebellum, may be ten uh, supratentorial, best good prognosis, astrocytoma origin GFAP positive, bio polar neoplastic cells with the hairline projection as to with the microcystic androgenthal fibers usually films cork screw fibers and cis plus solid we have medulloblastoma most commonly malignant brain tumor in childhood most commonly involves cerebellum can compress the fourth ventricle causing non communicating communicating hydrocephalus headache pebble edema can involve the cerebellar vermis truncal ataxia and can uh, send drop metastasis to spinal cord Form of the primitive neuroectodermal tumor, plant, some homeroid rosette, and small blue cell we have the synoptophysin positive. Okay, we have the ependymoma, which is most common found in the fourth ventricle, can cause hydrocephalus, ependymal cell origin, characterized by perivascular pseudo rosette, rod shaped bleophoroblast, basal ciliary bodies found near the nucleus. We have craniofrangia, most common supratentorial tumor, may be confused with pituitary adenoma, both causes bitemporal hemianopia with the high recurrence rate. Derived of the remnant of Rathke's pouch ectoderm, calcification is common. Cholesterol crystals found in the motor oil like fluid within tumors. Pinuloma tumor of the pineal gland causes paranoid syndrome, compression of tectum, vertebral gas palsy, obstructing hydrocephalus, compression of the cerebral ectoid, precocious puberty in males. So, 3 P. Pineal gland, paranoid syndrome, precocious puberty, okay, and obstructing hydrocephalus. So, similar to germ cell tumor and chest tumor syndrome. Okay, so next we have the uh, cingulate or the uh, soft palciform herniation under uh, flax cerebri which can compress the entire cerebral artery. We have the central downward and transtractor herniation, corridor displacement of brain stem, rupture of the paramedian basilar artery branch, um, durate hemorrhage. Uh, we have uncle hem uh, transtentorial herniation, uncles medially temporal lobe, early herniation, ipsilateral blowout, um, okay, unilateral third nerve compression, contralateral hemiplasis, late herniation, coma. Mm, covers mm, core ho, core no harm phenomenon misleading contralateral blown out pupil and ipsilateral hemi paralysis due to contralateral compression against anterior no heart notch we have the cerebral tonsil herniation into the foramen magnum coma and death results when the herniation compresses the brain stem so upper motor neuron lesion is lower motor is everything lowered less mass less muscle mass uh, less muscle tone decreased reflex and down going toes upper motor everything up tone up VTR up, toes up, fasciculation, muscle twitching, positive bar is normal in infants. Okay, mm, so the lower motor neural lesions uh, things are weakness, atrophy, fasciculation. Okay, weakness is present in both upper and lower motor neural lesion. Whereas atrophy and fasciculation is the features of lower motor neural lesion. Uh, reflexes are up in upper motor neural lesion. Reflexes are down in lower motor neural lesion. So does the you know, tone and uh, the reflexes are same. Like both increases in upper motor and both decreases in lower motor. Babinski obviously upper motor spasticity, uh, saying upper ma, plasticity lower ma, and cleft uh, knife plasticity saying upper ma. So, so now we'll be talking about the spinal muscle atrophy that is congenital degeneration of the anterior horn alignment. Symptoms of uh, only symmetrical weakness, floppy baby with mild hypotonia, flaccid uh, paralysis, and tongue fasciculation. Autonomic recessive SN, SMN1, mutation defective SN, um, RNP assembly, SME type 1, is also called World Leak Hoffman disease, we have amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also called the low uh, GE HRIG disease, combined with upper cortico bulbar and cortico spinal and lower motor spinal, medullary and cortico and spinal cord degeneration, no sensory or no uh, bowel bladder deficit. Can be caused by defect in um, supraspite dismutase 1, element defect, placid um, limb weakness, fasciculation, atrophy, bulbar palsy, dysarthria, dysphagia, tongue atrophy, um, human um, deficit, spastic limb weakness, hyperplexia, um, clonus, uh, pseudo bulbar palsy, dysarthria, dysphagia, emotional liability, fatal, most common from uh, respiratory failure. Treatment is re low zone. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis treatment is. Really low zone. So next we have the complete occlusion of anterior spinal artery. So space the dorsal column and lizarro tract mid uh, thoracic ASA territory in watershed area. The 
um, R3 of um, Adam Kiwis supplies ASA below 8. Okay, uh, so can be caused by aortic aneurysm repair presents with the upper deficit below the lesion, corticospinal tract, and lower motor deficit at the level of the lesion, and loss of the pain and temperature sensation below the lesion, lymphatic tract. We have the tips dorsalis caused by the torsally shapeless results from degeneration, demyelination of the dorsal column, root, um, progressive sensory ataxia, impaired proprioception, poor coordination, positive Bromberg sign, and absent DTRS, absent issue with the charcoal joint, shooting pain, and argon reversion, few pain. So next we have the syringomyelia. Syrinx expands and damages the anterior white um, commissure of spinal thermic tract, second order neuron, bilateral symmetrical loss of pain and temperature sensation in a cap like distribution. Sense with the cherry one wall function can affect the orders. Every time we told the is the subacute combined degeneration, um, demyelination of the spinal cerebral tract, lateral corticospinal tract, and dorsal column, ataxia, pain, paresthesia, impaired position, and vibration sense. Positive rhombus sign, UMN symptoms. We have called a equinus syndrome, compression of the spinal root L2 and below, over new reverse intravertebral disc herniation or tumor, radicular pain, absent knee, ankle reflex, loss of bladder and anal sphincter control, sadder anesthesia. So, next is poliomyelitis caused by a poliovirus, fecal transmission replicates in lymphoid tissue of the oropharynx and small intestine before spreading by the bloodstream to CNS. Infection causes destruction of the cells in anterior orchard, spinal cord. So, signs of lower motor nerve lesion is asymmetrical, asymmetric weakness causes symmetrical weakness in spinal muscle atrophy, hypotonia, flaccid paralysis, fasciculation, hyporeflexia, muscle atrophy, respiratory muscle involvement leads to respiratory failure, signs of infection, um, malaise, headache, fever, nausea, CSF shows increased WC, lymphocytic leucocytosis, and increase of protein with no change in CSF glucose, uh, virus covered from suit or throat. Yeah, brown squad syndrome, so heavy section of the spinal cord, ipsilateral loss of all the sensation at the level of the lesion, ipsilateral lower motor sign, flaccid paralysis at the level of the lesion, so ipsilateral upper motor sign below the level of the lesion, so the upper motor is below the lesion, okay, we have to remember that, and ipsilateral loss of the proprioception, vibration and light touch below the level of the lesion due to dorsal column damage, okay, and there is contralateral loss of the pain and temperature and crude yeah, below the level of the lesion. So, above at the level of the lesion is the uh, ipsilateral loss of all senses at the level of the lesion and ipsilateral lower motor sign passive paralysis at the level. So, lower motor uh, sign is at the level and ipsilateral loss of all sensation um, at the level of the lesion. But below the lesion, uh, we have uh, the upper motor sign uh, loss. Uh, below the lesion, we have the proprioception, vibration, and light. And below the lesion is contractor loss of pain and temperature and throat touch. Okay, if lesions occurs above T1, patients may present with ipsilateral horner due to damage of the oculosympathetic pathway. Okay, we have tried this at autosomal recessive trinucleotide repeat disorder GAA. Okay, on chromosome 9 in a gene that imports uh, fratazin iron binding protein leads to impairment in mitochondrial functioning, degeneration of the lateral corticospinal tract, spastic paralysis. Spinal cerebral tract, ataxia, dorsal column, decreased vibration sense, proprioception, and um, dorsal root ganglia, loss of DTRS, staggering gait, frequent falling, nystagmus, dysarthria, pest cavus, hematose, diabetes, malaria, hydro, um, uh, hydrotrophic cardiomyopathy, cause of death, present with child with kyphoscoposis, fratis, is a fratastic fratazin, he, your favorite fra, um, fat brother, always staggering, falling, but has a sweeter heart, and it takes gait. So, you know, the common cranial lobes injuries include a jaw debit towards the uh, side of the lesion due to unopposed force from the opposite pterygoid muscle. Uh, tenth nerve usually uvula evades away from side of the lesion, usually weak side collapse and uvula points away. We have the uh, eleventh lesion weakness or uh, turning head uh, to contralateral side of the lesion, uh, shoulder drops on the side of the lesion, trapezius left, SCM contracts to help turn the head to the right. 12th lesion, um, tongue deviates towards the side of the lesion, licking your wound due to the weakened tongue muscles on that side. Bell's palsy is the most common cause of peripheral facial palsy, usually develops after HSB reactivation. Treatment corticosteroid in ocyclovir. Most um, patients develop recover, recover functions, but aberrant regeneration can occur. Other cause of peripheral um, facial palsy includes Lyme disease, herpes zoster, Ramsohan syndrome, sarcoidosis, tumors like parotid and diabetes mellitus. Upper motor lesion. 
motor cortex connection from the motor cortex to facial nucleus and forms contralateral affected lower muscle surface expression involved and forehead is spared due to bilateral ligament innervation uh, okay and lower motor neuron lesion is facial nerve anywhere along the nerve 7 ipsilateral lower and motor muscles of facial expression affected incomplete eye closure eye dry eyes corneal ulceration hyperacusis loss of the taste sensation and to enter your tongue okay that's it